Hey guys, this is Scout Dad here. Uh, brought the kids to feed the ducks to the local, uh, well, graveyard. Don't worry, I'm on high alert for the zombies. I'm ready for them. But yeah, I brought the kids here to feed the ducks because this little pond here is usually loaded with ducks and Canadian geese, but it looks like they all went somewhere except for him. Now, this is a pretty bird. It's a Muscovy duck. Green and black and white and what's that red boogers on his head? But yeah, I wanted to show you the Muscovy. He's got plenty of bread that the kids have thrown. That's what all the white stuff is around him. I don't know if you can see that beautiful green and black on his wings. Such a beautiful bird. I love birds. If I could, I'd catch a sucker and take him home with me. But that would be stealing from a graveyard. And then the zombies might come after me. Well, they threw a couple pieces out of, in the water to try to lure the duck in the water, but it didn't really work. And we've been watching the fish eat the bread. And I don't know if I'm going to catch one. There's one out there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bunch of turtles out there. I mean a bunch of turtles. And the way they turn over this water, I don't know if you see that little spot right there. That was a turtle. It makes you think of a big bass or something turning the water. But it was a turtle. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, this is where we come. Look at Flair's feathers up on his head. It's almost like he doesn't want to go out there. I wonder if I can trick him to get in the car. That is one beautiful bird. And he's huge. Look at him. See? Well, there's There's a head. Another one over there. There's a head sticking up right there. Mm -hmm. Little turtle swimming towards us. Now the thing is, hey, he's coming right towards us. Oh, he's getting some bread. Oh, there he goes. I don't know if y'all can see him or not, but he's over there eating a piece of bread they threw out there. But, uh, there's a bunch of little fish in there, too. Anyway, about two years ago, maybe a year ago, I can't really remember, we had a, a, a couple turtles, a couple red ear sliders that we bought, and they were little bitty things. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get in that lake. Wah, wah. Oh, there goes one again. That's fine. Anyway, I released a couple red ear sliders in this very pond. Oh, I hear When I we got them, right when, we, when I brought them here, or when we got the turtles, they were about the size of a quarter, like that. And then they grew. I mean, they were huge. And I released them in here. And now there's like 20 turtles in there. So I'm kind of curious on how big these guys are. From the looks of this guy's feet, they don't seem to be attacking the duck feet. But then again, it could be why he's not going in the water. Because this here could have become a turtle pond, and that could be why the rest of the that could be why the rest of the ducks are gone because this is now a turtle pond. Now that's a good way to get it in. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I doubt he'll let me, but I'm going to try. See, he's getting ready to jump in the water now. See, he's he's ready to go. He's 
there he goes. And he's like, he's like you idiot. He's eating the bread. So what we pick all, up all of this and bring it over there? Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, it's not all doom and gloom. There's a lot of wonderful things out here that we can do and see. I mean, there's a lot more to it than just all prepping. When it, you know, all survival. There's a reason that we prep. There's a reason we get ready for survival. And how do we know this isn't it? I mean, you got that single lone duck out in the pond just swimming his life, having a wonderful time. Then you have two kids over here just playing, having a blast, giving the, the animals some food. You haven't finished your bag yet. And, uh, yeah, and you stand back and you look. Yeah, I'm in a graveyard, but if you look up in the sky, there's a little bit of a rainbow and the sun and the clouds. Yep. There's a lot to life. And there's no reason to sit there and think that you should have to, as Lobot Prepper says, live to prep. Look at the little mockingbird over there on the curb. There's no sense in living to prep when you should actually be prepping to live. I mean, that's one of the best closing lines I've ever heard. Too bad I didn't think of it. Anyway... Yeah, I mean, don't spend your entire rest of your life prepping and getting ready to for a doomsday because that's not what it's all about. It's actually a very, very wonderful life. You just have to get out there and look at it and see it. And, uh, yeah, I know this isn't like the best adventure there is to do, but I did want to show you this, that we tried to... Look, well, if that's not a Boy Scout, I don't know what is. He's pulling trash out of the pond. Good boy. Anyway, if you like what you see, if you like what you watch, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the message I try to give, go ahead and subscribe. Do you want me to if you want to learn about stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, rate, comment, share, and remember... You know, it's not about prepping all the time. Just like Lobuck says. Don't live to prep. Prep to live. But, uh... That, you know, just enjoy life. Don't sit there and think it's all doom and gloom. But you have to remember at the same time that when everything's gone, anything goes. So always be prepared. Love you. Mean it.